On this day in history, 1869, the First Vatican Council formally began. Technically speaking, it lasted for over 90 years. Blessed Pope Pius IX had called the Council to be held at the Vatican in order to address the errors of the time and to formally define the doctrine of the infallibility of the Pope. In this first public session, there were 698 bishops and other church leaders in attendance at St. Peter's Basilica. Over the course of three public sessions, the bishops approved two documents, one of which included a definition of papal infallibility. When the Roman pontiff speaks ex cathedra, defining a doctrine concerning faith or morals to be held by the whole church, he possesses that infallibility which the divine redeemer willed his church to enjoy in defining doctrine concerning faith and morals. This teaching was already believed by the church, but had not yet been officially proclaimed. The council was prepared to teach also on the authority of the bishops, but was interrupted by Italian troops taking possession of Rome, and never officially closed until 1960, 91 years later, when Pope John XXIII was preparing for the Second Vatican Council. Vatican II confirmed the decrees of the Vatican I and finished the work that it had left incomplete. Interestingly, on September 3rd of 2000, Pope John Paul II declared both popes blessed, John XXIII and Pius IX, showing the important connection between the two general councils of the Church that they 